The only thing is, I don't live underneath a bridge. Or are those trolls? No, that's trolls, right? Is that bitchy? I hope not. There's just something about cold on my cheeks that I'm like, I don't want that. Well, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to today's video, which is new makeup releases. Let's hope I can get through it quickly because it's hot as hell here. And if you're welcome, my name is Nikki. I'm 46 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And if you love makeup just as much as I do, if you want to hear all the, I don't know, newness and my opinion, then this is the video for you. If you want to also hear about what it is like to live on the autistic spectrum and want to know how to apply makeup on the face, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe now, become part of my nestlings because we are having a blast here on the internet. I forgot to mention I'm also slightly orcish, which means olive. So I'm just, I'm just the complete unique package. Never mind. You, before we go into uh, the releases, I do want to say that the giveaway is closed. My 10k giveaway is closed. Usually I don't mention names, but in this case I am going to. So please, please, if you see this video, respond on Instagram. Send me a DM on Instagram, please. Or if you don't have Instagram, use my email address. It's linked in the description box. I have contacted the winners and I hope that they have responded to me because otherwise I will have to redraw. So when you are seeing this video, I will wait for a day after this video Let's go into the video. Let's start with what I have on my eyes. And on my eyes, I have a palette that is launching. Uh, it has already launched or it is coming very, very soon. As you are seeing this, and it's the newest palette from Fantasy Cosmetica, uh, The Sorcerer. I'll put picture up when it looked pristine because I have been digging my nails up. Do you like this picture? Let me know if you like this picture. I made a picture. Never mind. Um, this is the first look and so far I love the pigmentation. I love how it blends out and it looks very, very pretty. And it has a little bit of a twist like me. Never mind. Uh, I do have a discount code with her as well. It's Nikki Raven. It will be listed down in the description box and I will link down below where you can find it. I, I really, really like it. I like that it is so different from her first palette, which I have here as well. So let me show you the first palette, which is the Druid palette. So let me show them to you side by side. And these are all game inspired. Was anyone else a chaotic neutral? Let me know. If you know, you know. So here they are. So this is her first palette and this is her second palette. Now the first one looks a little bit more grungy. I do feel that you can combine them though. I think at least. Maybe you can... I don't know, sweeten this one up and grunge up that one. I don't know, but I like it. I, I like this kind of opposites attract a little bit more. Yeah. And I think that you can create very, very unique looks if you were to combine the two palettes. So let me know if you are excited. Let me know if you're going to get any. Um, as I said, so far, I really, really like the formula. But the shimmers are stunning. And the mattes are very, very easy to work with. At least so far what I have done. So I hope that, that is helpful. Let's go next to uh, Colored Rain. This is also an older release. Um, I have... I will link a video underneath the cards, me talking about what I'm kind of going through. So maybe that helps. Um, but Colored Rain released their Secret Garden collection. And when I saw this, I was like, this looks so, so pretty. I have their Queen Bee collection and I don't know if you can see it. It's The box is there. I love the quality. I love the quality so much. So when I saw this, I was like, this is so very, very my color story. This is pulling on my heartstrings so, so much. On the other hand... Do I need it? No. I'm also a little bit makeuped out right now. Uh, but this one is still pulling. I haven't ordered it. But it's still... Yeah, and I think it's also... The, the thing that I can kind of say to myself, don't do it, is because the lippies that are in here are not the colors that I usually gravitate towards. Now, the lighter one I kind of do like. And I like that they are in the collection. But uh, it's not really what I go for the lip liners that are in this collection there are lip liners right yes i have the lip liners from well i have the complete queen bee collection and one of the lip liners i love the other one it's kind of stiff almost that's what she said and i don't really like that um 
we're not going to go there um but it's just the the way that this collection looks the embossing i'm not just going to order the palette though so that's why i basically have said no no i'm going to pass it's kind of with pain in my heart because i love this color story so so much i love how this is looking let's go next let me know by the way if you have gotten it let's go next to bh cosmetics germany because bh cosmetics germany has a new release it's their mini uh, escape brush set i needed to uh. um i don't think it's on their bh cosmetics site maybe it is but it is in select dm stores just so you know so Let me know if it if it is online on BH Cosmetics Germany. I will link it. Maybe it's also on the USA site. I don't know. Uh, but let me know if you saw these. I cannot wait to see what else BH Cosmetics is going to do. Especially now that they have been bought by Makeup Revolution. Now I am one who loves Makeup Revolution. I know that their stuff is hit or miss. But I had more hits than true misses honestly. And I think that... Um, their newer nine pan palettes especially the ones in the cardboard packaging i feel like they kind of upped their game a little bit so i'm actually hoping that they're just using bh's formula uh, or or they're maybe not completely their formula but they are kind of upgrading to bh instead of bh kind of down downgrading as a lot of people think and by that i mean that i think that unfortunately um makeup revolution is too inconsistent in their eyeshadows For most people. Not necessarily for me. So the formulas that I love are Makeup Obsession. I love Makeup Obsession's formula. Uh, I Heart Revolution has a formula that's okay. It's okay. Especially if you're a beginner. Now uh, let's mention these then. Uh, to segue into Makeup Revolution. Because they have... They have a bunch of new stuff, but this was what I found interesting. Um, because it does look... The collection as a whole kind of looks pretty. And this is their uh, fantasy collection. And it's based on the um, different elements. So if you are an air sign or, you know, uh, that that kind of thing. So kind of, um, what's the what's the wording? Zodiac. That was the word, kind of Zodiac inspired, but not really. More, the, more along the lines of their elements. The palettes that you see here, this quality, I really do like. If you're used to pigmented indie brand shadows, maybe you won't like this as that much. But I think it's a very, very nice quality. So, maybe that's helpful. Um, so, here you have the, the fantasy collection. So, basically, you have earth, water, air, and uh, fire. Looking at the outside. So, let's start with the outside first. I think the outside of the palette looks very, very pretty. I can see this appealing to heaps of people. It is also appealing to me. However, let's go over let's go over what I like. So, let's let's start with the fact that the, sign, the water palette, it's not just blue. It's not just... It's, it's not just a, a blue blue like we usually get for Aquarius, you know. There are a few different... It's it's a little bit more of the aqua blue, which I like. I do think that they that they made it way too safe. I would have loved a, a green in here. And then not a green green, but kind of a teal green or an aqua green. More blue green. For the, and, but what I do like is that there's a gray shimmer in here. Because I live at the Dutch coast. And our North Sea. Honestly, if I were to make a sea palette. it uh, Water water sea palette. It would not look blue. <laughs> it would look more gray. Because especially when we have a storm coming. It's such a unique color. That I'm, I'm still kind of looking for that in an eyeshadow because it's a very very unique color so yeah the water you know i get it i get that they always depict water as blue but i would have wanted it's it's personal preference when i think of the water sign i think of oceans and lakes that kind of water not the tap water that comes out of the faucet which is also water but Mm. Uh, so then I think of my North Sea Which is usually kind of a bluer grey um, And when it's storming It's just It's the same funkiness as that The sky can turn right before a thunderstorm You know um, and, But you also have the, the tropical sea And you have lakes So so many varieties of blue I've never seen that in a palette And that would be so so interesting So I think it's cute I think that 
as a whole it looks cute but I think it's way too safe that's the water the earth I know usually they depict earth as very neutral which well a lot of the time earth is brown but it's not just brown is it it's a red brown it's it can be a clay red it can be a black it can be so many different kinds of colors uh, that while I like the fact that they did something a little bit differently I still think that it is a little bit too safe I like the color story though but it does not give me earth vibes per se I do like the fact that the darkest shade is a matte let's go then over uh, water no air which I am uh, Aquarius is an air sign I like that they have done something different here I wish that they would not have done the neutrally shades I do like how this is looking though does it necessarily think let me make me think of air I don't think maybe that's not what they were going through I am actually kind of thinking that I take this very literally right the element air as in the element and not the people who are apparently in the element I am realizing right now but I'm just going to go on my train of thought so I like the fact that they have done different colors for air now air in and of itself is colorless right so I then think of an air sign I think of the sky so um a white for the clouds yes a blue for a sunny day the the pukey yellowy greeny color that it turns right before a thunderstorm that kind of color but that's also that's a sky it's not that's I do like this color story though I like the outside a lot I I think that the color story is nice as well uh, I the names though are apparently all how they are right so loyal yes gracious it's debatable romantic maybe debatable diplomatic well I think I am but according to my son I am not inventive that I am social yes kind of but also a, a, a heap no I love to be social but it does cost if you are on the spectrum you know so this is perfect to be social social media independent yes I love that color by the way curious yes also flirtatious no because I don't understand it but um, I do like the color story of this I do it does not give me air what, what my mind thinks of as air but again I am actually right now just realizing that I take it literally so I think of the air sign as in the element air not the people who are on the element who have air as an element if that makes any sense at all it's probably also the witchy well witchiness yeah I, I think it's also kind of that interesting huh let me know if you think that as well let me know if you feel that um if you look at these types of palettes the same as I do that you're looking at the literal element or that you are more like no I can see this in uh, you know you are like me for instance an Aquarius so you're an air sign do you see yourself in the palette of air let me know because I'm very very curious about that because I think I take it to literally I think that is it I do like so let's then go to the fire one yeah again with fire I, I don't see pink in a flame do I though well no yeah well fire has heaps of different color um, but fire is also heat it's kind of fire is warm right fire is heat so in that I can see this as uh, I see this as a summery palette if that makes any sense to you at all I think these are summery colors right now it's hot as hell which is also a weird thing because hell is not hot at least not everywhere according to me but that's all okay <laughs> let's just get on with it I think it looks cute let me know your thoughts and I think that a lot of people will really really like this one um, I, I kind of almost bought the air sign because I really do like that color story I haven't as of yet I make up out but still I find myself becoming quite a basic bitch saying with hot pink on her eyes um, but apparently I am that way when I'm not filming which is often lately um, because I can I just don't have the room for it I do a lot of neutral looks so yeah I do um, but I still love color though let's next go to um, what's this a notoriously morbid 
I don't mention them often, but I think that this looks cute. So this is uh, their mystery ink palette that they are going to release. It's coming soon. It's 12 shades and you can use code radar 15 for 15% off. I think this is fun. I also think it's very simplistic, which kind of is um, um, a vibe of its own, right? I like the color story. I think that the color story is fun. I think that the simplicity Sim the simple way that they have done the front um, Maybe it's just a concept palette, I don't know It's a very simple way And I, on the one hand I kind of like it On the other hand I'm like I don't really like that But it is eye-catching So let me know your thoughts I've never tried the Notoriously Morbid I was not planning on it real soon um, Either But let me know your thoughts. I really do like this color story. It really pops. Yes. Let's go next to Makeup by Mitchell. Because he is releasing a new collection. It's available at his own site. I know Beauty Bay also sells Made by Mitchell. And uh, there are more. There's also, I think, Pure, Purish in Germany sells it as well. I don't know if they have the this though. Yet, uh, but it is the Wear the Mangoes collection. It's an eyeshadow palette with 18 shades, uh, mm, mostly mattes, but three metallics. Um, then there are six liquid blushes. There are also graphic ink liners. Now, the palette itself, when I saw this, I was like, I don't think of Made by Mitchell when I see this, but that could very well be me. I still see his bigger square palette. This honestly could have been any other brand. It's not... The color story is fun. Um, but it's also a rainbow palette. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I am uh, waiting for my Ace Beauté palette. Which should come here very, very quickly. And um, I also kind of have this. So for me... No. For me, no. However, what I do find really, really interesting are the blush... Blush... Colors because there is a rich orange, a burnt orange, there's a mustard orange, and a neon yellow. So I don't know if Angelica saw this, but oh, there's also a sunshine yellow and a creamy warm beige. I'm actually the creamy warm beige sounds nice. So for me, being an olive, if I have a if I have a yellow blush on my face, it looks like I've been punched in the face. If I have an orange on that is too yellow, it looks like I have been punched in the face. So I love an orange blush. But it needs to be more blue than yellow. And that's probably that has to do with my undertone. Um, the beige one though, that looks very pretty. I like this. I like the fact that he is going out there. Or not literally, but that he is giving us the funky colors that a lot of people are asking for. And if you are cool toned, so not an olive, but if you're cool toned, a yellow blush will look very very pretty because it kind of picks up on the the pinkness that your skin has and it transforms it a little bit is very pretty if you're warm toned it's also very pretty just if you're green yeah then for me being a warmer olive it's not not what i go for Unless it's Halloween, then there's a different story. I'm going to go to Glam Shop and I have a few things from Glam Shop. So first off, check out the site because they have a lot of sales going on right now. Uh, the picture that I'm looking at right now is from their brush set. Now someone asked if I had tried their brushes. I haven't. Um, I am very particular in my brushes and I saw that a lot of their brushes are real hair brushes and I don't want to buy real hair brushes. So I don't know. I've heard good things and if you want to try them, I think now is the time, especially if they're on sale. They do look very, very pretty though. Um, what have they also done? They have released some new stuff. So here you see a picture of a part of the Oriental collection. Um, and these are cream eyeshadows. They look very pretty, actually. I like the one which has that, that kind of purpley. I could see myself chucking one in if I make a Glam Shop order, which I'm not going to right now. At least that was not the plan. But um, let's go. Let's let me know if you've tried them though. Let's go next to uh, their blushes because they have expanded the range of their cream blushes. I have one of them here. I have the shade. I think it's Seduction, which I don't know anything about. Um, Ruminic. 
Ruminik. I don't think it's correct, but I think this was the shade Seduction. So this is the one that I have. This is the color. And it's a little bit more of um, an orangey peach. Muted. Very, very nice. I love the quality, but they have expanded their range. And I'm very, very happy about that. So, can I read that? You know when you're getting old, when you cannot read stuff without, you know? So... There's a sparkly one. I'm very interested in that sparkly one, which is called Sparkle Cocktail. That one looks very, very, very... I kind of need that one. Yeah, I kind of do. I love a shimmer blush. Especially a shimmer cream blush topper thing. Yeah, that shade is very much on my wish list. Let's just say that I really, really like their formula. I like the fact that I that it's in a pot. I like that I can dig my brush in. It is kind of a drier formula. It does dry down, um, but it is still pigmented. and But not insanely that you have to be careful. You have to build it up. So, yeah. And I, again, I love Glam Shop as a brand. Okay, let's go next to Clarity Cosmetics. Because Clarity Cosmetics is doing things. They are branching out into skincare. So, let's show you this. Uh, which is called uh, Clarity Skin. And I will link the Instagram handle down below. They just made a new Instagram handle as well. Uh, they have decided on a coffee collection for their first set of products. They will be selling all individually. And there will be combos as well. The skincare line caters to anyone who has sensitive or normal skin. And products will also cover skin types such as oily dry combination and normal they don't know when it will launch yet but yeah i'm going to take a sip of my coffee flavored water mm. heavenly i think this is very very interesting For me, Clarity is from the USA. Well, Clarity is located in the USA. I don't know if I would buy any necessarily just because I love the Inky List. I, I combine the Inky List with um, the Ordinary. And one of my favorite face oils actually right now is from Catrice. So I think this looks very, very cool. Um, but I would want to know things first. I will keep you updated though. Let's go next to their sneak peek of their Halloween release. Because Halloween releases are kind of trickling out a little bit. And I'm here for it. This looks just the outside of the palette makes me, makes me want it. I have here the Cobra palette. I also have the Evil Mermaid palette. And I really like both palettes. I really like the quality. But this, this is something that I like. I need that in my collection. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Um, next, I have bronzers that they're going to launch. They're going to be launching 20 or 22 shades. Wow. Now, and I know a lot of people say... Yeah, but it doesn't matter what bronzer shade you have. Well, actually it does. And you only understand that when you have a weird undertone, like me being an olive, if I have a bronzer on that's too yellow based, um, it turns muddy you know or orangey or if i have a bronzer that's too red based it makes me look more green so it's definitely a thing if you are a peach if you are a golden it definitely definitely matters it definitely matters and i did not know that but i'm learning that very very much so um so yeah it's interesting I, I'm going to keep my eye on this. If they are making one for olive skinned, maybe I will maybe I will make a clarity order. You never know. Okay, let's go next to something that I got tagged in heaps, which is from Sugar Drizzle Polish. Polish, it's their new honey bee palette. When I saw the front, I was like, ooh, another bee palette. And then I saw the inside and I was like, I have seen a lot of people say, I don't see the bee, I don't see the bee. And I kind of agree. But I can kind of... Also, I think, see what they were going for. And if you have a B palette, a standard B palette is yellow, black. There's yellow in there. There's black in there. There's white in there, right? That's standard. Um, you can also use browns and all that kind of thing. What I really do like in this, though, is that they've said, you know what? We're making a B palette, but it's going to be uh, inspired by flowers. So, you know, the flowers that they... For instance, regu regulate regularly 
visit yes uh, so that's what i thought of first then i saw the shade names and there you lost me because the shade names are what's what's that pollen eights wannabe i cannot read the pink one and then the the purpley shimmery one that's uh, in the middle bottom is called bubblegum yeah i don't get that i would have wished that they would have made um If they want to make one called pollinate, well, yeah, pollinate, of course, because they pollinate the flowers. But if you're going to go with a color theme that's not the color of the bees themselves, um, in my mind, you lost me by giving them these types of shade, shade names. Because when I hear the word um, wannabe, wannabe be there's bee in the name i think of a bumblebee that's my goal that's my, it's my default that i think of a bumblebee now i would have loved here the shade wannabe i would have loved to be a sparkly with a yellow yellow sparkle in it and it can be a clear base but a, a yellowy sparkle in it and you know that kind of thing in in Basically a yellower base with sparkles instead of a pink base with sparkles. If that makes any sense at all. Um, I would have loved if they just given the names the names of flowers. You know, and do the wannabe or pollinate. But then for more... Um, yeah, the wannabe or the pollinate. I would have loved to have seen a shade with a yellow... A sparkly shade with a yellow base. But I, I really do like the color story. I think the color story is very, very pretty. I like that it is something different. Um, but you lost me with the shade names. Um, yeah, also, I would have loved the... And I don't know if that would have been possible for the pants to be then the honeycomb. Like uh, Lashes by Lina did. Uh, to have honeycomb... So that you bring back the bee palette again inside. Also put in bees inside. You know, kind of to bring back that bee palette. Because, yeah, I like the color story. I love the theme. I love the artwork. I just am missing stuff when you open up the palette. That could be me though. Let me know your thoughts. I've never tried Sugar Drizzle. I do think that they have a very cute and cool... That, that MILF palette, I still really like that one. And this is very cute as well. It's just for me, I don't know, stick, stick, you know, in the open bit, stick there, bee stickers. I don't know if that's possible, but, you know, give me something extra to also make it a bee palette inside versus just on the outside. That's me though. Is that bitchy? I hope not. I hope not. Um, it's the, men, the meant to be palette. Um... And it is available the 20th of August at 11 a.m. CST. You can use code RADAR10 for 10% off and it is affiliated. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you over the moon? Let me know. Let me know. I would love to try it though, but I'm not going to buy it. Let's just say that. If the brand wants to send it to me in PR, I will, I will gladly try it. But I'm not going to go out of my way to buy this palette. Even though it is bee themed, it's kind of too little bee for me. That was rhyming unintentionally. Let's go to Unearthly Cosmetics because she is doing things. So let's start with this, which is the Vitality Palette. It launches the 12th of August, uh, 12 p.m. EST. It will be 50 US dollars. You get 24 shades, 6 duochromes and 18 buttery mattes. And the pans are magnetic. Um, this is also, again, a rainbow palette. I don't know if this is coming my way. I have no idea. I... Checked through my email and I did not see an email. So I'm guessing not, which is completely fine. Uh, it does look like a very, very pretty palette. Again, this is also a rainbow palette. A little bit bigger than the one from Made by Mitchell. Um, but yeah, I love Unearthly's formula. So honestly, I would rather have this one than the one from Made by Mitchell. But that is me. Let me know if you are excited. She's also launching um, Im Immorality or Immortality. Which are sparkly liners. And they are also launching the 12th at 12 p.m. EST. These look very, very pretty. Yeah, they look pretty. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I do have an affiliate code with her that will be uh, linked in the description box as well. It's Nikki Raven. It will save you 10%. But these look very pretty. They kind of remind me a little bit of their pots that she has. But then in, um, in, a, in a tube with a doe foot. 
So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Are you getting these? Let me know down below. Let's go next to Game Beauty because they have collaborated with uh, Aki Dearest um, for eyeliners. They have they have a few different colors. They have what I see here, basically a dark blue, a black, and um, I know cobalt blue, lighter blue, lighter blue. It will be they will ship um, early September. I think they are already available. So let me know if you have ordered any. Let me know down below. Uh, congratulations, Aki. I, at least I think that's how I... Yeah, Aki. Um, congratulations on this amazing collab. It looks cool. She's a YouTuber in Japan. That's awesome. And congratulations, congratulations. Let me know if you have gotten it. Let me know down below. Uh, what else do I have? Oh yes, Nomad Cosmetics. Nomad Cosmetics put up this picture before I sat down to film. Uh, that another one... That they are bringing in a friend. Another friend is joining. So you see on the picture. You see the Fête de Provence. Which was their latest release. Their newest release. And you see the um, Paradise Islands palette. Or Island Paradises. Paradise Islands. Island Paradises. I have it here. It's one of my favorite palettes actually. Um, and there's a sister joining. Uh, 2022 is their happy year. So that means more color. The new one will be a lovely complement to these two all three built on each other what colors are you hoping to see uh, and she also says yes we know it feels quick after rosé and they agree uh, but when supply chain wreak havocs on your timeline you go with the flow the feta provence palette was scheduled to launch um, early summer no even earlier Was it June? It was set to launch in June, I believe. Beginning of June. But supply supplier messed... It was, a, it was kind of a shit show. So it launched later than they expected. But they had already planned this launch as well. So that's why they are a little bit closer together. It's on its way to me in PR. It's actually... I don't know if it's coming today. But it's coming very, very soon. And I'm very, very excited. Yes, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see it. They, it's just every time it's a little party when I open up their palette. Okay, let's let me know if you are excited and if I have more information. If I have, you know, as soon as I have pictures and all that, I will uh, let you know. Okay. Um, I also got tagged in this one, which is Ollie's lashes. Yes, it's vintage horror inspired cosmetics, vegan and cruelty free options. This beautiful Halloween three slash Twilight Zone. Episode The Mask inspired palette will be dropping October 1st. The fun palette will have three duochrome shades, three shimmers and six mattes. Swatches are coming later this week. I like this color story. I think it's cute. I don't know if my screen is dirty or if the picture was kind of woozy. Um, or if I need to clean my lenses, it could be that as well. But I like the color story. I think the color story is pretty. And I love that it is monochromatic rose. I just love that so, so much. It's so pleasing to the eye for me. I love that. So it looks pretty. I don't know the brand. Let me know if you do. But this looks very, very cool. So I'll leave their website down below for, for you to check out. Okay. What do we have here from Essence? A one to freeze primer. Uh, launching soon in Europe. And we don't know yet. It is coming globally though. So I'm guessing it is then a permanent product. Uh, and we have fruity face primer with a cool texture transformation. When stored in the freezer, the gel texture of the primer turns into a sherbet-like mixture. When applied, has a cooling effect that minimizes the size of pores. Comes in two formulas, glow boosting and hydrating. I don't know if it is truly going to... Shut your pores a little bit. I think it more it has more to do with I don't know blood flow and all that. Um, I'm kind of intrigued by this. The downside is I do not like when something very cold touches my face. So it's one of the reasons I I love sheet masks for instance, um, but a lot of the time I don't like to put them on because it's too cold on my face right away. I don't like it. I do love it for my under eye area though. So I have kind of sheet masks specifically for the under eye area that I get at action. I have those in the refrigerators because then I do like it. But on my entire face, there's just something about cold on my cheeks that I'm like, I don't want that. So I, I won't use... I'm, I'm, 
again, I'm intrigued, but knowing myself, I won't like it because it's too cold on my face. So, but, but that's just me. Let me know if you are interested though. Let me know. Kind of interested to see if it will work. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Colourpop Cosmetics has come out with graphic ink liners. For I like the colors. I like the fact that they have done colors. I like that a lot. Uh, I like the component that they come in. But um, I think they're felt tip. And that then it's a no-no for me. Unless they, I know that they are a silicon tip or a brush tip. Felt tip, it's just not... I, I, pref I actually prefer a brush tip, so... I actually don't know, uh, but they're cute. Let me know if you got any, because they are already online. What do we have here? Lime Crime. Do I want to talk about Lime Crime? Not really. Okay, what else do we have? Let's see what else we have. Uh, oh yeah, uh, let, let's go to the last few things. Let's go to something that when I saw it, I was like, I want it. Yes. So let's... <laughs> And if you, if, yeah, just let me explain. Let me show you the picture. It's the new Love Fest collection from Huda Beauty. I did not get everything. I got the palette and I got the fragrance. So uh, the fragrance I got in 10 milliliters and it is basically cherry and fruity inspired. And I was like, I need that. Uh, when I saw the palette, the color story, it was just so intriguing for me. Uh, I love an orange... Um, neutral um and when i then look at the swatches that they have done here it's basically a neutral palette with more orange neutral than than brown neutral um but they have purple purpley shimmers i don't know there was just something about this that i was like i need that palette so i ordered it and um uh, yeah it's coming my way I like her formula. I like the Wild Tigers. I have that one. It was my first palette that I tried from her. I really do like it. I also really liked the quality of the purple and orange one. I did want to change some things. But I did like the quality. I still haven't tried the other one though. The color block. The, the, the blue and green. I still haven't tried that one. But this one. For what I go for right now. It's very much up my alley. So I ordered it. Yes, let's next again go to Beauty Bay, their new mood palette. I was, I did not order this one uh, and I'm kind of still thinking, should I or should I not? Um, I, I kind of have a completionist thingy in me and, and also the personification of stuff that I do that I kind of am like, yeah, but it's kind of sad if, if I don't have this one to complete the family, uh, which is weird, but... Yeah, so am I. So, and I own my weirdness, I always say. I like the color story of this as well. I think the color story, yes, it is a rainbow palette. Yes, very much so. But I do like it. I like that it's a combination between mattes and shimmers. I like the outside. I like, when you break it down in color story, I'm like, I have all these color stories. I have them. But still, there's just something about this layout that I'm like, it's so, so intriguing. I haven't ordered it. Um... But never say never. It's let's say I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I do want to. But I shouldn't. So there's that. I want to, but I shouldn't. It's kind of a lot of the time. And maybe I need to put that on a t-shirt. Oh, about t-shirts. We are preparing new merch. Just saying. Um, then the last thing that I'm going to mention is from V Cosmetics. And she uh, V Cosmetics is a UK-based brand. Kind of witchy. Kind of gothic -y, Very, very nice aesthetic. Uh, and I really, really like this brand. I have a discount code with her as well, which is not affiliated. It's Raven. It saves you 10%. And I will link it down below. Uh, but they have launched a new vegan 10-piece brush set. Um, the brushes are super sleek, black with a pop of red at the tips. The handles are shaped rather than smooth to help you grip them more easily. These look very, very, I want to say appetizing. It's not. <laughs> They look pleasing to the eye. The black and then the, the, the grayer of the bristles and then the, the red tips. I really like the way that the, that the set is looking. Um, for me though, it kind of reminds me in the shapes of the first set from Unearthly Cosmetics and... It's just not the shapes that I go for. So that's why I did not order this set. Um, but I will link down below where you can find them. And then that is everything 
of the new releases and it was a longer one again and yeah i want to apologize for not uploading so regularly it's just stuff is going on behind the scenes if you want to know kind of what's going on a little bit watch the i will link the video uh, or it is linked about basically me chatting about the fact that i'm not okay and that that is okay and kind of how that came to be so i'm still in that process i'm still processing things and yeah but i'm not quitting youtube don't worry i'm not quitting youtube i'm just trying to find my balance a little bit here right now with integrating everything so yeah um also i'm still here at the side because you will see my patreons thank you so so much for being a patreon thank you also if you're still a member um i would ask you to go over to patreon if you are able if you're not able though then you can still um remain a member of course uh check though if you are a member and you did go over to patreon check if you're not paying double because you have to um remove the youtube membership yourself i cannot do that i cannot remove people from the membership or at least not as far as i know i will have to check i can shut the membership off but i don't think i can remove individual people which is weird actually but it is the way that it is um so yeah and then that is going to be it for today thank you so so much for sticking by me uh watching my videos commenting and yeah that is it thank you so so much for watching i am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon i hope at least for my next video bye guys Thank you.